It's a beautiful day in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. And tonight, I'm going to a Michelin starred restaurant and I'm very excited about this one. The restaurant I'm going to is called Ron Gastro Bar. Honestly, I don't know too much about the place other than it seems affordable, it has a a la carte menu, and it was also a spot that I was able to get a reservation at at short notice, so yeah. Plus, if I do remember correctly, I do recall seeing on their menu a dish of mac and cheese with moral mushrooms. That is something I need in my life. Hopefully, I'm not imagining that, but without any further delay, it's time to start heading to the restaurant. Ron Gastro Bar is the product of Chef Ron Blau, whose first establishment, Ron Blau Restaurant, was the recipient of two Michelin stars. However, Blau went on a more casual and approachable restaurant, so in 2013 he converted his flagship fine dining temple to Ron Gastro Bar. The switch wasn't embraced by everyone. Nearly his entire staff left the restaurant, but Michelin still bestowed Blau with a star. As stated proudly by Ron, it was, quote, the most beautiful star I've ever had. To drink, I ordered a glass of Masi Pinot Grigio for only 550 euros. If I was back in NYC, that price would be more than triple. Unfortunately, I wasn't a fan of the wine. It didn't have much flavor and it maintained a very weak mouthfeel. Still, I wasn't paying much for the beverage, so it wasn't that much of a big deal. Food-wise, my dinner started off with a pickle dish as an amuse-bouche. Overall, it was a decent bite and packed a very pickly flavor. Before the regular menu was even presented, I was offered a snack menu consisting of simple items. I went with the frog legs with Szechuan pepper and garlic. The legs were so tender and juicy and maintained a light and pleasant Szechuan spice. Snack-wise, it was an awesome start to my meal. The main menu is fairly sizable, with a good selection of vegetarian along with meat and fish small plates. There's even a nice selection of larger format barbecue dishes, but I wanted to try as much as possible, so I ordered a few smaller items. I started off with the onion martini, consisting of a consomme, lavage, comte cheese, and Amsterdam pickles. This was a really enjoyable course. It was like consuming a jellified French onion soup served at room temperature and without the bread. The flavors were strong and rich and really lent a strong umami punch. It was delicious. For my next course, I chose a dish that initially sparked my interest in Ron Gastro Bar. It was the mac and cheese with moral mushrooms, chicken liver, gruyere, and macaroni. While I really wanted to like this dish, it unfortunately felt unbalanced. The bitterness of the chicken liver emerged as the dominant flavor while the morals were almost non-existent. Perhaps it could have been better with a sharper cheese or more salt, but at the same time, it wasn't bad. It's still mac and cheese, and it's refreshing to see a comforting dish like it elevated and served by a starred establishment even if the attempt did fall a bit short. But luckily, my next course was a real winner. It was the original spare ribs, and they looked pretty damn cool in how they were presented tableside. The dish certainly attracted a lot of eyes from the surrounding diners. Crispy sauerkraut, sambal manis, stone leeks, and horseradish accompanied the meat. The ribs were nice and tender, but it was the other elements on the plate which contributed unique and unexpected flavors. For instance, the sambal lent a pleasant spice with an underlying sweetness which I was particularly fond of. Overall, it was a great course and a nice ending to my dinner at Ron Gastro Bar. While I would have typically gone for a dessert, the block of time my reservation covered was nearing its end, so I just asked for the bill. However, I was presented along with the Czech, a complimentary mini ice cream cone with a tasty passion fruit sauce. It was fun and delicious, but proved a challenge to hold with my one hand while I awkwardly tried to pay the bill with the other. Still, it was a nice touch. That dinner was very delicious, very satisfying, and surprisingly very affordable. With my tip included, I paid just under 80 euros, and that was a phenomenal deal, I feel like. I love how the restaurant takes very familiar food like mac and cheese and spare ribs and adds different ingredients, things that one wouldn't necessarily expect to go with those dishes like the mac and cheese and morals, or the spare ribs and sambal, those were interesting elements and they were very intriguing. Not every dish was perfect, but I really appreciate a restaurant that just does something different, tries to innovate on the classics, especially classics that are considered comfort food. 
Now, I would have loved to have had a dessert, but the way how my reservation was set up, I had to be out of there at a certain time, and I just didn't want to rush things. And while that ice cream cone was a nice touch, I'm still a little hungry. I still want something sweet, and I got a place just for that. So I went to this stand the other day and I got an apple beignet and that was really good. But this time I wanted to get what they're actually really well known for. The, yeah, I'm not sure how to say that word. It begins with an O and uh, yeah, it's basically like a beignet. I think this one is filled with chocolate. It has powdered sugar on top. It's fried and well, it's fried. That's good enough for me. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Actually, this isn't chocolate, these are raisins, but they're still pretty good. This is still a very good treat. The only thing is, I wish it was more fresh. It's fresh though, but it's not hot, and that would make all the difference. This is like an eight right now, it could be like a 9.5. Still, good treat, only a euro 50, solid. With those final bites, I'm now satisfied for the evening. I think Ron Gastrobar is a really good restaurant. I love what they're doing. I love the casual yet refined approach that they're taking to comfort food and simple foods. I would have loved to have tried more stuff on their menu, but nevertheless, time and money doesn't permit that. All in all, this was a great evening. I had a great dinner. Ron Gastrobar is a great restaurant.